Welcome to today's video, where we shed light on an alarming issue that has made its way back into America, the resurgence of DDT. While it is illegal to spray this toxic chemical on crops within the United States, a little-known fact is that it is not illegal for the country to import produce treated with DDT. As consumers, it is crucial to be aware that the fruits and vegetables we buy from overseas may have been sprayed with this harmful substance. Particularly with rising inflation, many Americans are seeking ways to save money on groceries, but they must also be cautious of this hidden danger. The EPA explains that DDT, which stands for dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, was developed in the 1940s as the first modern synthetic insecticide. Initially, it was a powerful weapon against malaria, typhus, and other insect-borne diseases. DDT also proved effective in controlling insects in crops, livestock institutions, homes, and gardens. However, DDT's widespread use and initial success led to the development of resistance in many insect species. In response, the EPA issued a cancellation order for DDT in 1972, citing its detrimental effects on the environment, wildlife, and potential risks to human health. Ongoing studies have revealed a suspected link between DDT, exposure, and reproductive effects in humans based on animal studies. Furthermore, animals exposed to DDT in studies developed liver tumors. Consequently, DDT is now classified as a probable human carcinogen by U.S. and international authorities. DDT possesses several characteristics that make it a persistent threat. It is known to be highly persistent in the environment, accumulating in fatty tissues and capable of traveling long distances in the upper atmosphere. Although the concentration of DDT has decreased in the environment and animal populations since its discontinuation in the United States, its persistence means that residues from historical use still remain a concern. Shockingly, even more than 38 years after the ban on DDT, Americans continue to consume trace amounts of this notorious insecticide on a daily basis, along with over 20 other banned chemicals. This raises numerous complex questions. Are these small amounts of chemicals dangerous by themselves or in combination? How have they managed to persist and find their way into our food? Think of these chemicals as sand in your shoes after a day at the beach. Despite our efforts to remove it, we often find more sand later. Sometimes that evening, sometimes even years later, when we put on the same pair of summer shoes and feel the grains between our toes. Similarly, many chemicals, including DDT, stick around. They fall under a category known as Persistent Organic Pollutants, or POPs, which take decades to break down in sediment and soil. They can also travel globally by wind and water, ultimately ending up in remote regions like the Arctic. It's important to note that in order to minimize exposure to DDT and other harmful chemicals, it is wise to opt for organic produce whenever possible. Organic farming practices prohibit the use of synthetic pesticides, including DDT, providing a safer and more sustainable choice for consumers. So, as you consider your grocery shopping choices, think about the benefits of supporting organic agriculture and reducing your exposure to potentially harmful substances like DDT. By making informed decisions and opting for organic produce, you can prioritize your health and the well-being of the environment. Thank you for joining us today on this enlightening journey. By spreading knowledge and optimism, we can empower ourselves to lead healthier lives. We would love to hear your thoughts on this important topic. Please feel free to comment below and share your perspective. Remember to stay positive, stay healthy, and together we can make a difference. We look forward to seeing you next time.